Hello and welcome to episode number 11 of this walkthrough. Our survivors are taking much needed rest after celebrating their second year at Desertum, just like we are doing right now. So, this episode is getting recorded on 1st of January 2023. So, Happy New Year, folks! <laughs> and let's get going with our episode. The automated cadets, they are doing their job as soon as they see any animal which is aggressive towards our base or our survivors, it just takes care of it then and there. Which is good. Ken is going towards salvaging, just doing a quick stock take on what we should be taking care of. So we have this cadet which is ready for construction, which is fantastic. From research perspective, we are researching printed components which will automate printing of our electronics. And I'm thinking that maybe this is a good time when we can ask Umaya to focus more on crafting and tailoring. And if time permits, then go for assembling. Yeah, I think this will be a good priority because shortly we will have another machine which will do the job of assembling for us. Nice. Let's keep going. We are running short of crafting materials and the reason has been that Umaya has been solely focused on assembling. We have to construct a lot of turrets, a lot of machines and all of these will require electronic components. This is a new setup, new defensive setup that we are trying because we have realized that the range of sensors is lesser or smaller than the range of turrets. So we want to place sensors a bit, couple of uh, tiles away from, from the turrets just so that we can cover that range and so that the sensors can activate the turrets in time. We are having solar flares, eight disabled devices. So in solar flares, the devices with built-in CPU cores do not function. So all our turrets are rendered useless right now. And this is one tricky situation, especially when we will have lesser of survivors and we will have to defend against bigger horde of animals. And let's say that it happens during solar flares. Wow, that will be awesome. <laughs> Scavenging is going well. I think while Ken is focusing on scavenging, I can get his attention towards some meat and skin situation. So this is a good set of thermodars here so we can hunt them while we can. And Umaya straight away, he has started to craft fuel for us, which is fantastic. Scavenge good, about to rot away, don't care, solar flares, okay, insufficient material, 10 cement, it's fine, our furnaces are working and we have enough raw material which is a stone to craft or bake these stones, so all good. Unpowered device, motion sensor, so this motion sensor here, it's unpowered because the range for this wooden power pole is not reaching till this sensor. So maybe we can add another one here. Another wooden pole. What do you say? Where can we place it? Wow. Here. Oh, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> I think this is a good place and I hope it gives enough space for our survivors to walk through. Let's see. We have to start somewhere and then we have to experiment on what is the best. I think it will be similar situation for this sensor as well. So let's solve the situation right away. This should be fine. Yeah. Much more space on this side to place a few poles and other stuff if we want. Good, good, good. Things are going well. Samantha is researching real hard. 84% done. Really waiting for this machine to turn up. And while we wait for that one, we have this 3D printer which will print carbon nanotubes for us. So let's set it up for around 10. 10 nanotubes at all time. We don't have enough material because we are lacking liquid fuel. 
However, Umayev is on the case now. This machine will literally be like an additional survivor for us, the splinted component machine. Really looking forward to it. This is the first time I have been able to get this machine in my online or offline plays. Very exciting. We have to ensure that when Ken is done hunting of these dromedas, we make sure that we bring the heights back because we are lacking our leather. And if we don't find enough leather, then we have the option to switch towards veggie leather. However, that will require some more crafting time. So as I have been saying, it's all about having that balancing act. There's no one best way of doing things and situations change every day in this game. It keeps us on the toe, which is very exciting. Fortification is getting constructed, which is awesome. And this fortification takes a lot of raw material. So a huge amount of cement will go into construction of these fortifications. Come on, Quinn. Okay, I thought he's going to get stuck again. He got stuck while constructing this barricade. Power pole. And let's try one thing. I want to see if Quinn is able to reach here or not. So let's draft and yeah, he's able to. Fantastic. And maybe this is a long passage and animals can enter from here and attack our sensors. So maybe we can put a wall around here as well. Just thinking of different ways by which we can make more differences. So if, so if it is our survivors, they can enter from here and come out from here. So all good. Good, good, good. Another turret coming up. Coming right up. After this one, now we have quite a few turrets on this side of our base and now the focus will be to have similar kind of a setup on this side. What's the situation with metal alloys? 185 and electronics, 2 CPU cores. I think we can start with a couple of or at least one turret which is this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, so it can cover some range on the outside. Let's construct this one. Good, good, good. Super exciting. Our electricity consumption plus 208. Nice. But we will construct a few more. Also, I think we only have 6000 volt in batteries. So maybe a good time to plug in another battery. I hope that machine really assembles these electronic components real fast. That would be awesome. And now the sensor is up and running. And if you remember all the sensor and all these turrets, they are on the same active circuit, which is five. So all the turrets or all the machines or all the electronics, all the electrical thing, which are on active circuit five will be enabled and disabled by the sensor. And the sensor will only detect hostile animals in range. So if the animals are just passing by, they're not hostile towards us, it will not activate these turrets. Nice. A shooting star, our least favorite expedition, a meteor, long trail blazed, blah, 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 all good will go if we can but no promises there there's a lot of backlog in terms of crafting so umaya will have to spend a couple of days to get everything back to where it should be we are playing with one less survivor we should ideally have six survivors by now 
because the time that is assigned to each activity in this game it's a bit too high for five survivors to manage so something has to take a back seat and that's what we have been doing in the last couple of episodes trying to balance out things between these five survivors where it should have been six survivors or the game should be crafting a few things real fast insufficient material 20 cement that's fine it's okay it will be there sooner than later it will be there insufficient fuel don't care Those are just washroom torches. I'm assuming that we will be attacked real soon as well. So this sensor is up and running. And now what we can do is we can put this on active circuit six. So if you remember, we do five six seven eight ting 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 anyways so um the sensor changing to six and all the turrets which are which should be activated by this turret they will be moved to active circuit six and this is a um, change which a survivor has to come and make on these devices individually so it's a handling job it doesn't happen automatically. It's not a configuration which we can enable. Ideally, we should be able to enable this configuration because it's just another nuisance which the survivors have to take care of. There's already a lot to do in this game. So I'm, I think some of these are smart. Some of these things which are currently as part of handling should be made as part of configuration. But yeah, no complaints. It's fine. We are able to manage it we'll be able to manage it as we go researched printed components amazing amazing so now where is that hmm production 3d printer does it go in under 3d printer oh yeah it goes under 3d printer fantastic so electronic cpu cores and power cells how long does it take three hours that's it fantastic Three hours six hours and six hours wow this is a lifesaver this is a lifesaver so electronics we need 15 at all times da -da 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 -da. Print. cpu cores we need five at all times And I think the sequencing is fine. So electronics are taking three hours. So we are short by 11. So 33 hours will need for these electronics to reach that count of 15. Hmm. I'm just thinking, should we wait for that long or should we go for CPU cores? Maybe we'll go with only 10 to start with. And then we'll switch towards CPU cores. Or another way of thinking about it is maybe we'll go with 15, but we will deprioritize this over CPU core. I think this is better. Because we need CPU cores to make or construct all these turrets. So I think this is a good, good configuration to have. But we can't keep this electronics count too low for too long. So if something changes or if we are consuming a bit more, then we'll switch the priority again. Can this transporting food, which means this area would be clean. Okay. Maybe let's see if we have hides here. Yes, we have. So we can ask maybe Samantha to help us with hauling of these hides. Yeah. 55, there should be a bit more. 55 another one this one yeah so samantha again you press the key and it will line up this activity for her good i 
Fantastic. So now, soonish, we will have quite a few hides which will be converted into leather, which means our tailoring will go ahead as expected. Now you see, we have configured these machines which are appearing as blue to have an active circuit of six, but they have not been handled yet. And this is where, yeah, we, they are all consuming electricity right now. It could have been more effective if this is just a configuration which we as a users can manage. Unpowered device, machine gun turret. What happened there? So, how come this is unpowered? Not connected to a power source. How can that be? We can clearly see this wire going from this power line into this one. This is very strange. Look, I can make another power pole over here, but it's just not making any sense to me. Okay, let's try this one. Or maybe uh, this pole is reaching out only till this turret and it's not reaching out to that one. Maybe that's the case. Let's see. Adding another power pole is not a biggie. I think it's just 10 wood. Yeah, nothing. It's nothing. At this stage, it's absolutely nothing. More and more meat aggressive animal. Ooh, quite a few as well. Now, this is where our turrets will be engaged. I think we need our turrets up and running for this one. I don't think we can manage so many animals ourselves. We'll need all the automation in the defenses. Okay. Just in time, I think we, we prepared our defenses just in time. Imagine so many animals without these defenses. My goodness, that would have been a nightmare. And I suppose what I can ask Mr. Quinn to do is to turn this off. Okay, or not turn off actually. Why it is just turning off? Turn on. Really? Mm, one second, Mr. Quinn, unraft, okay, and then you come here, and I wanted you to configure actually handle, yeah, so handle this guy, handle this guy, and handle this guy, and maybe this one is already changed to control circuit six, so all good. The reason we want to do this now specifically is that these animals will be coming. I'm assuming that these animals will come from this direction and we want all our turrets up and running. So let's try to hit this bigger animal. It will try to chase us and we'll run, run back. We'll take help of turrets as soon as it tries to chase us. Let's see. Let's take one step at a time, slowly, slowly, and here it goes. So, we are getting chased by these beetles, which is not big of a concern. The thing is, these beetles run real fast. They're faster than our survivors, so we can't really just ignore them and go to this bigger one. The only thing which I would want is for these three snipers to snipe at three different animals rather than sniping at just one. Now I think I can do a hit and run. Hit and run, run, run guys, run. Come on, sensor, detect this animal. Come on turrets, turn on, please, 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 now would be a good time. Yes, they are. Here you go, here you go. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. Anyone else? Rita got injured, but that's fine. It would have been a much worse situation had these turrets not been there. Also, it's a good test that our configurations are working fine. 
we have configured those active circuits and I just wanted to make sure that they are working. Nice, nice, nice job guys. You know what? I'll try out our defenses. Ignore. Will not attack anymore. Okay? Once these aggressive animals attack us, then we will be ready maybe here so that they don't enter the base camp but i will let yep i will let these machines take care of this attack and let's see how that happens so ken is here just want to make sure that none of our survivors are in the line of attack okay let's see what happens there are quite a few four scorpions 34 beetles it's a huge count Let's see. What is your range? Yes, they are in the range and here comes our turrets. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think for these turrets, we'll put another sensor maybe here or somewhere. Because they are not getting activated. They will be activated once these animals reach this place. Which is a bit too late. So as you can see, these guys are trying to be smart. And that's why we have these towers. So maybe whoever is the closest. Umaya. Would you mind coming here? And can... Hmm... I know it's a bit risky because you literally have to come to this area. That's fine, we'll take our chances. I'm putting too much trust onto these turrets now. Come on, Mr. Rumaya. Nice. Oh, this reload time for sniping is so long. Oh my god. Hmm. It seems we are all almost through actually. So these guys, even if they reach this place, let's say they reach here, they will be met by this another turret. And this is active now. So I think adding this pole helped. Nice. Done and dusted. The attack is over. Fantastic. Miss Rita, what's your situation? You were stabbed and you have pneumonia with, for which you have immunity. That's fine. Good job, guys. Really happy the way these turrets have helped us. And we will have a few more. And we will add a few more different defenses. For example, once we are done with these machine guns, I'll be adding these missile launchers as well. Lasers, I'm not a big fan of. But missile launches I am. One thing at a time though. One thing at a time. We can't do everything at once. And this is a healthy collection of meat for us. Insect meat. So yeah. We will take it. Rita is back to cooking. I think she has healed. Yeah, all good. Another thing which we can do is make some more traps around this area just so that this area is better protected. The slower we make these animals, the easier it is for us to defend. So maybe something like this to start with. How much is crap do we need? 309. We are making 100 more traps. And we shouldn't think twice, to be honest. These attacks are only going to become bigger and better. So we need to upgrade our defenses. Don't be shy of traps, guys. Don't be shy of traps. It's the cheapest defense we can have in this game. Keep scrapping, keep creating traps. Don't think twice. Uh -huh. 
But these turrets, I wonder if there's an upgrade to these turrets. They take a lot of hitting. Yeah. It takes a lot of time to, to hit these animals. And we are here for some more hides. Please. Here they are. So it's night time, maybe in the morning. Let our survivors rest. Otherwise, they will be grumpy. And they are. Quinn, Mr. Quinn is grumpy. Why are you grumpy? Because you are hungry. Because you don't follow the schedule, mate. Isn't it? Where are you? You're sleeping without having food. Fantastic. Good job. Rita is still confused on what to do at midnight. Oh, okay. So the ceiling lamp has malfunctioned. All good. All part and parcel of maintenance. They will need, they might need electronics. So we'll keep a quick check on our electronics count. This machine has oh it has made the carbon nanotube which is fantastic and now it's awaiting material for cpu core i think handling is something that would need a priority now i think there's some balance issues with handling it seems so who can do that mm -mm -mm. so samantha you're harvesting Crafting, tailoring, and researching. It's fine. Quinn, you are constructing and harvesting, mining as well. Hmm, it will be a bit too much for Quinn for sure. I think Ken is the right candidate. So maybe Ken. Yep, one higher priority. And Samantha. Yep, I think we'll put a two for everyone. Whoever finds time, just go and do some handling, please. Thunderstorm. The lightning strikes can damage structures and devices, but we don't have to worry because we have these lightning rods everywhere. We have been lavish with installation of these lightning rods and each and every structure which we have put in, each and every machine which we have put in is protected by this lightning rod. So not to worry at all. And we were thinking about bringing some heights from this area. Let's do that. Where is that? 78 high. You're getting meat for fat. Fantastic. Another thing which we can do is um, I was looking at this retrieve options. And survivors are forbidden to get raw resources from this device even when they are starving. Maybe we'll allow them to retrieve if they are starving. A lot of heavy lifting happening in this room. This machine, tailoring, crafting, researching. Welding, storage, wow, this is the happening room and maybe we can put another 3D printer, won't hurt to be honest, yeah, let's do that. What's our consumption situation? Minus 164, so we have now one more battery which is giving us 8,000 of storage. Hmm, consumption is 164 per hour. So 1640. Yeah, okay. I think we are good. So yeah, even if it is full consumption, we have one day 18 hours of storage. Fantastic, fantastic. Brilliant. And our CPU code is at two again. So time for another turret and maybe we can go with this one. 
So one on each side. So we'll just try to bring a balance slowly and gradually. Ooh, animal attack one. Ah, oh, you're not gonna survive, dude. Here you go. That's it, that's it. Yeah, it just takes a lot of time for these turrets to get rid of these animals. Huge amount of time. And I hope we have enough hides. 184, fantastic. I hope we have enough meat. 63 raw and 120 dried. What are we lagging in? Actually, nothing. Maybe we can add some more sweet syrup. That's probably it. And this has been a good harvest for us. Very close to our base. Saves us a lot of time in planting and harvesting. And three. And this is one challenge. As soon as these turrets start to engage, they reduce the speed of our gameplay to 1x. And sooner we'll have these vegetables. Oh, they are ready for harvesting. So all good. All good. We are going well. Umaya will make sure that we have enough liquid fuel. Fantastic, mate. Fantastic. And, yep. And, oh my god. Literally another attack in one and a half days. And again, this is a big attack. Seven scorpions and 28 beetles. Hmm. What should we do? I'll just play it out. Yeah. I will just play it out. I will let these turrets take care of this attack yet again the only thing i would wish is all my survivors are inside the base just so or not in line of attack actually even if they're not in the base they shouldn't be in the line of attack that's pretty much it not sure if we are being smart by waiting for for these guys to attack us but i really want to test our defenses i want to see at which point in time do they really fail because this is not a huge count we have what three four five six six turrets here and here's the attack let's see they're coming in from both sides and do we have anyone here Mr. Quinn. I think as soon as he will see animals, he will run away. The challenge is with the guys who will go on that side. They are not going that side. Fantastic. Come on, our sensor. Yes. Attack. Fleeing. Yes. You flee, mate. Maybe I'll drop you and you go here. And this is where traps are super handy now. You see that? Yep. Don't even think about it. Come on, man. Are you blind or what? You were just fleeing a minute back. Go and construct that guy. Come on. Construct that machine gun. Go. You can't be relied on to make a smart decision while under attack. Come on. Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh no, oh no. So maybe a couple of our guys here. Mr. Umaya, if you can, and Mr. Ken, if you can, please. A couple of guys here. It's a good way to test how our defensive structures look like. And that one is taken care of see what Umayyad and Ken can do here and maybe uh, nah, we don't want them to come nearer to us please Ken come on get rid of these guys please otherwise they can do they can attack us actually one gone and this is what I was anticipating that they will make use of this small gap so we have protected our electronics at least nice done and dusted fantastic so now let's unwrap 
undrop so that these guys can go back to what they were doing. Good, good, good. Things are going pretty well for us. We have easily survived two attacks in one and a half days. And the attacks were not small. And we literally asked them to visit us to our camp. So I'm really happy. I think this is a good defensive structure for us. Unpowered device, machine gun. I think we'll need to put another power pole. So maybe here, so it will take care of most of these guys, I suppose. I suppose this will be a good place. Okay, let's not be too finicky with it. I'll place one one on each side. Cool. I suppose we can do an expedition as well now because I'm feeling very confident that these defensive shape these defensive structures are able to take care of attacks so i can explore constructing trap fantastic let's go for an expedition next spaceship ancient alien ship so ancient language must be researched and I think we, I hope we have queued it up. Let's see. Research. No, we have not. So line it up. And line. Oh. Question. Should we line this three days research for carbon wind turbine or should we line up this ancient language? I think we'll go with ancient language. The reason being that we are not running short of electricity and this is a good efficiency gain, but we are not running short of anything right now. And even before that, I would need railgun snipers actually. So maybe this and then we go with this one. Hmm. This looks good. Yeah. Sounds about right. Wow. We are nearing the end game scenario. Very, very close. I think in next episode or in a couple of episodes we'll be there if everything goes by the plan. Okay, expedition. Control module and a shooting star. Okay. Shooting star. I'm giving you this last opportunity to give me something good in return. Otherwise, I'm not doing any more of you in this series. So we are running short of electronics now and I think we need Mr. Quinn. Oh, okay. I think we will need to prioritize electronics now without any question because we need this second 3D printer sooner than later and this printer is waiting for electronics. So we have prioritized electronics before CPU cores now. Zero core, zero electronics, all good. Nothing to worry. Don't worry. I discovered some interesting rocks. Yeah, the same thing. The ore, ore which keeps coming back. And which reminds me we are running short of ore. So many things to manage in this game. Wow. You lose sight of one. And suddenly you are in deficit. Go. The hide situation is good. I hope we don't have any more hides to haul. No, all good. Yeah. You got everything we need from this place. Food situation is good. Rita is maintaining a count of 10 at all time, which is fantastic. And I think we have happiness bonus as well. Yeah, enough food variety. All good, all good. Rotted away 19, good. It could have been 119. Rotted away 35 is fine. 
it's not such a big count to worry about risk of meltdown for quinn why is that mr quinn because you slept outside and you are unrelaxed i i, th I thought you enjoyed doing expedition loves going on expedition you should have a bonus for that mate went on expedition okay plus nine fantastic good good you can take all the rest you want now security signal the site of a recent crash started emitting an automated high frequency security signal blah 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 we basically have to go there so blah 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 means we have already been through this description before no need to waste your time reading them through again but let me know if you feel that i should be reading them through i'm more than happy to Mr. Quinn, you will be needed for another expedition now. Liquid fuel 137. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I suppose while everything else is coming up, we can start planning positioning for our sensors on this side. Did I? Oh my god. I did. Come on. That's not good. That's not at all good. Okay. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Power pole, wooden, maybe here. And maybe here. Yeah. This is much better. So, yeah, we were talking about positioning of sensors. I think it's working really well on this side and maybe we can replicate the same kind of a structure on that side on the other side why not let's do that buildings floor which kind of floor do we want to make this time maybe stone is a better option stone and yeah, we don't want it to be too high. So maybe this is good. Go and leave space for one door. Like this. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, I took a lot of space here. Maybe we can retract our steps a bit. But this is a good entry point, and maybe we can get rid of all of these here and here, and this one as well. Defense, fence, stone. Maybe this is fantastic. And then we can have our fortification now fortification takes the next tile and we can take it i suppose i'll yeah i'll go closer to our previous defense wall here nice yeah this is good looks good to me maybe we'll just close the loop here yeah so we will be running short of yeah, cement as well, but that's fine. Our furnaces are working. And we can place our motion sensor here. And maybe we can put the power pole here as well, because we know that we will need one. I think this is a good setup for us on this side. We can have a similar one on this side, but let's go one at a time. Let's get this one up and running, and then we'll think about the next one. nice so i don't see any active sites for mining of stones so maybe we can set something up i'm just thinking that maybe we can go a bit further from the camp and the reason being that once we will go towards the end game 
we might just have to use things which are closer to the base. So can, we can take this, all of it, and rocks mine. I think this will be better. And once we have those mining done, we'll just go for some wood. Just keeping these counts in check all the time. What happened to our electronics production? It seems like the handling is not happening here. Do we have enough silicon? Yep, we have. But only 10, so that's another thing. I suppose this much silica is not enough. We will need another farm for silica. And maybe we can use this farm here. And I don't see any reason to protect it. So we'll see. I think we'll just go ahead with the farming and I'm not too keen to protect it as, as of now. Mm, maybe on this side? Oh, it's greener here, so let's go here. Maybe this is good. Yep. Oh, this is huge, but it's okay. If we won't use it, we can always get rid of it. The challenge is when we don't have enough material. We don't want to be in that situation at all. And I suppose at this time we need a lot of crafting, a lot of manufacturing. So this is a good time when we can invest in planting these things. In the meantime, can we make use of open world? and get some silicon for us. I'm pretty sure we can find some silica to harvest. Yep. Not too much, but something. Silicon leaves, harvest. It's all about survival, right? One way or the other. So, harvest. We have to survive. Losing is not an option, folks. No matter what. Can't reach the trap. Which trap? Oh, this one. Okay. Why can't you reach there? Because that's in between the two walls, and I don't need it, to be honest. Gag reflex. Who is having gag reflex here, please? Mr. Umaya, is that you? Don't know. I think it went away. Rot away 35. Power cell assembly. That's fine. Insufficient fuel. Don't care. Insufficient material. We are working towards them. About to rot away. Don't care. Come on. Risk of meltdown for Mr. Ken. Because he's tired. Fine, night time. When you and construction are a deadly combination, you see? We'll keep working. It's 10 o'clock in the night. Come on, mate. Come on. Follow the schedule. When I tell you to take rest, you should take rest. When I tell you to relax, you should relax. It's for your own good, mate. And Ken is having some problem which went away. He's having stomach ache. And that could be because some of the food which was about to rot away, maybe next time when we get that message, we'll make sure that we manually get rid of it. Otherwise, these guys will have that meal and then they will have that stomach ache and other infections. Good, good, good. Something to take care of next time. Wow, these two areas are super dependent now. And yeah, we were thinking about putting a couple of more sensors and maybe we will. So we have one more sensor here, which will be connected to circuit for these guys. And maybe one more sensor here, which will be connected to circuit for these guys. Let's do that. Motion sensor. What happened? Yep. You can't because it's obstructed. Can we do it here? Come on. Come on. Can we do it here? 
Uh, doesn't make any sense to do that here. Da -da 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 and we do it here. Uh, I won't mind actually. Yeah, you know, because we don't want these side of turrets to be activated too soon. So I think this is a good place actually. Yeah, nice, nice find. And maybe we can do a similar thing here as well. Yep, more than happy to do that. Fantastic. The thing is, we still have a lot of place to put in a lot of turrets. So just taking one space is not gonna be of any problem. Halo Ring, what's the situation? So we have leggings, we are short of everything. So Umair is trying to get things sorted for us and we have expedition as well. So let's do that. Security signal. So maybe Quinn, you again. Let's go for it, mate. One fifty seven liquid fuel, fantastic. Silicon twenty, yeah, good, good, good. Wow, a lot of construction has happened. Can reach physical eight. Fantastic. About to rot away. Yeah, maybe we'll get rid of it manually. Yeah. The happiness levels are good. Expedition complete. Security signal. I found the crash site of what looked like a small military vessel, I relieved some soldiers of their armor. I also found a laser pistol that looks to be in working order. May their souls rest. Pistol! We don't need pistol, we need snipers. Two of our survivors are still without snipers. That has been the state of our scavenging. But either way, we are at end of day 10 and day 11 has just started zero zero hours so i think this is a good place for us to stop this episode i think we made tremendous progress in this episode and we have tested our defenses as well the configurations are working fine the sensors are able to detect the animals in time and are able to activate our turrets on time similar setup we'll have on this side and all the other sides of our base so we are going well and with that, I hope you are enjoying the walkthrough. And if you like what you see, then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And please share your feedback using comments. Keep safe and game on, folks.